Take him. Okay. Uh, I don't know what you mean, man. I will not shut up, though. I'm going to talk about the game at the moment because it's Backstein versus Billion, a pretty damn hype game at the, right now. This could end up being the decider for who is first place in the group. I'm on Backstein off the beginning. He's got into the lower spawn with Mega Yellow, LG, and Rail. Let's see what he's going to follow up with. Yeah, that's good stuff for him. He's uh, going to want to brag pretty early on, I think. He wants to uh, get the ball rolling early. It's just pl chip plasma damage. I don't often yeah. say chip plasma, but it, it really is. It's just nice little at burst, random yeah. intervals. I know he's got to make him pay for this red. Oh, that was an am a amazing rail just there, knocking him right off. That was kind of Kilson style just then. And Maxine's going to try and race him over to the red. Yeah. And he wins the race. First impressive there for uh, Baxton. Mm -hmm. And uh, he might even get this red fairly cleanly. He opts not to go for it. And he just leaves it up and Philly gets himself onto that red really quickly. But Baxton's out stacking him and this could be a frag for the oh, Dutchman. And it is. Lead. That was risky as hell though. Baxton... Yeah, he completely he... left that red up. But, you know, I'm, he was still out stacking uh, Philly at yeah. that point. And I think he just felt confident going into that fight. I only won it. I think it, he could have made it easier for himself, but who knows? Maybe he would have got the frag for much longer had he not done that. LG to rail combo once again. Fillion's left with about 60 health. That rail yeah, would good, have uh, the German. Good vertical rail there from Baxton. And uh, doing a fair amount of damage as well. Villain's just desperately waiting for the top yellow at the moment. Baxin's gonna try and cycle everything else. He's decided he doesn't want to challenge directly for the, the red armor, but Fillion just walks into the lower corridor and Baxin will take that with open arms. Yeah, Baxin just hurt him there and uh, takes a little bit of grenade damage, but uh, still manages to get onto that. Oh, wow. Cheeky little this... rail there from Fillion. <laughs> just this is what uh, we double back him for. Yeah, this is this is the kind of damage that we we saw from him against Faz, and I think we're we're only gonna get more of that. In fact, let's switch over to Fillion's point of view and see if he's gonna be able to get some of these uh, ridiculous shots out. Maxine moving in. I don't think Fillion has solid timing because he's a. Uh, he didn't sit on the item, and he is going to race over to the red armor. This time, he's got to try and win the fight. No rail follow-up from Baxteen, which is definitely good news for the German. And there's a trade on the yellow. So right now, Fillion actually outstacks Baxteen. Only just. I mean, there's not, not too much in it, but uh, indeed he does. And he wants to get this next red, which is going to be the next uh, major item up. Mm-hmm. And good timing from him there. Got that it's quite not... cleanly. And is he gonna jump? I think that was disciplined. He even landed yeah. a direct grenade. And so he's certainly still... Okay, now that the LG's gone, he doesn't actually have the advantage. The yellow is gonna put Baxin back in the lead of control. But whoever gets that first rocket, I mean, it's just gonna flip the tables once again. There's gonna be the red for Fillion. Baxin finds him on the other side. It's on Fillion now. He needs to win this fight somehow. Rockets aren't too shabby at the moment. He doesn't have a great deal of LG ammunition left. But all this, all these rockets yeah. are just so effective in the uh, in the end. I don't know if Baxtian, uh, you know, his use of the LG, I don't know if that was the best option there. Fillion just uh, hiding behind those pillars, firing off rockets, getting the splash damage behind the pillar. And I mean, now with that damage plume, you can see exactly how much damage he's doing behind those pillars there. Uh, when you're fighting, you know, you know that classic uh, fight there on ZTN, and yeah, just good rockets from him, and it just to drag back. Do you think Baxteen was maybe a bit stubborn there, or? Yeah, he. I don't know. I don't know. He just shouldn't have had his LG out. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. Just took too much rocket damage. Fillion was able to avoid most of it by uh, just hiding behind the pillar and doing splash damage. Well, this time, Fillion not able to get quite the same payout of damage on the Mega Health. And that's a, a shame for him because Baxteen is looking pretty good. And he's still got the lead, so there's no no reason for Baxteen just to run into a fight. Which kind of felt that way over um, at the grenade area last time. And Fillion as well does is, shouldn't feel that he's forced to go up to the... I don't know why he did that. He had 180 armor. There's absolutely no point to risk your life 
and the slim frag difference over over just getting a red to do nothing. He manages to make it in the end, but this fight is not favoring him at all. Billion getting back now, and I think uh, a big wake-up call for him. Yeah, just a little bit over-aggressive there, and um, <clears throat> good plus back damage from Baxter. Just denying that aggression there from mm -hmm. Billion. This time Baxter's gonna be able to get the red armor. Cleanly as well. Yeah, Fillion's gonna just chill out, I think, you know. I'm not gonna be surprised if there are only one or two frags left between these two at the end of the game. Yeah, very slow uh, as Etienne, and you know, that's probably a smart move from Fillion. He's just uh, patiently waiting until he's gonna be 200 200 and can actually take a fight and stand a really good chance against Baxter. There's only one frag in it. And they've mm -hmm. just spotted each other here. Oh, well, Fillion, Fillion should fight for Mega next. That's definitely what he's got to do. He's got yeah, he doesn't need this red. Oh, good rocket from him. And another follow up rocket. And wow. again, Fillion just doing a lot of rocket damage there. That's almost a repeat of what happened earlier, but Baxter getting out just in time. And, and he just got Mega as well, which kind of saved his guts. He's sitting on 27 health, but he just railed Billion down to 50. Oh my Max God. team, what? <laughs> what the... oh. <laughs> he plasmaed himself. <laughs> he tried to jump uh, up, but how did he kill himself? He had like 27 health left. He should have done less than 15, I think. <laughs> Maybe oh, well. he royally messed it up. I don't know now... how the scoreline just changed. In the space of like two seconds to this, yeah, zero it... to Baxter and one to Fillion. Guys, I swear there's been more than <laughs> one kill on more than one death in this game. Oh this, my is, God. this is ridiculous. And I mean, whenever Baxter plays, something ridiculous happens. He's just that kind of that kind of guy. Yeah. Sometimes but... it's not for the best as well. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know, I wasn't expecting this ridiculous. Baxter's damn it. I mean, Fillion's combat skills really have been. The most impressive is out of anyone that we've seen today. Not that we've seen a lot of games today, but it's it's definitely the shining point uh, in Group V1 at the moment. Yeah. Max is going to move into the, uh, the Mega Health. Fillion was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but he's still got a slight lead in control. Uh, yeah, Fillion's going to get himself that top yellow. And he's actually looking uh, slightly better than Max at the moment. He, he would like to capitalize a little bit on his control. Try and try and get the frag lead out somewhere that won't be reachable. He's even and denying those 25s. Don't yeah, need to do that, fine. but I suppose he wants to do it anyway. Been a yellow taken by Baxter. Fillion really trying to mark his territory on the mega health. And what on earth just hit? Was that a load of grenades that hit him first? That I think was, so. Uh, and just so much LG damage from Fillion. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> Fillion's been able to play like his two best maps. I, I think the Blood Run is one of his stronger maps, and I think that Aero Walk is as well. And, and for some reason, these guys are allowing him to go on this map. So whilst this game goes on, I'm going to quickly have a look at uh, Fillion's statistics. Let's have a little, little goosey gander right there. Because I, I would imagine his play chart to be vastly in favor of these two maps. Um, yeah, and they are. They absolutely are. Nine health left though for Baxteen. Fillion is going to hit a rail. He's still got, I wouldn't say a substantial amount of HP, but enough to feel comfortable. He has got 45.5% error walk games and 20, over 28% blood run games. Yeah, and that's that, out of 5,000 deals, so that's yeah, 20% of 5,000, well, 28% of 5,000, 1,300, 1,400, somewhere around there. So he's got a lot of games here. Yeah. Why wouldn't Baxteen just remove Arrowwalk and remove Bloodrun? It is an absolute mystery to me. I think Billion might get this win here in less than a minute's time. He could knock the two... Well, I would have considered the favorites at the beginning of the day and take the win for himself. That is a, a staggering result for the German. 4-0 at the moment, 25 seconds left. I mean, Yeah, that's what, a very, what? very good win for Fillion. And uh, he hasn't lost a game yet, so he's looking really comfortable and uh, he's well, more than likely going to get qualified today. So, uh, good result for him. 
I mean, what the hell happened to Baxter and Faz? Did they forget that they could, like, check the uh, maps that their opponents play? Because surely that's an absolute no-brainer that they... GG, uh, 4-0 for Philly, and a remarkable yeah. result, but... I believe I've got a lot of question marks over my head about what on earth Backstein and Faz have done. So Backstein was two and up in that game and he finished the game four nil down.